This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com And now we're going to talk about list methods Okay, so list methods is actually my favorite part of Python And any programming language out there Like, you know, like this is where I have fun Okay <laughs> So we're going to start with the very simplest thing So we're going to have a variable called users And in here we're going to say This is going to be Joe there's going to be uh, Barbara. Okay. There's going to be Jacob. There's going to be uh, Cam. And there's going to be uh, Miss Jones. Right. <laughs> okay. So there's a Miss Jones. All right. So how can we add, right? How can we add a new name to this? list very simple okay we could actually use append all right so we're gonna come here and we're gonna say users dot append and we're gonna pass in let's say johnny okay we run that everything is fine gonna come here and we're gonna print users so we're gonna say print users let's see what's inside of it as you can see Johnny is in there but let's say we had a list of numbers right and we say we just wanted to add this to in there so we're gonna say numbers equals to let's say two three four well five six and seven okay let's say we wanted to append the numbers to this array okay sorry this list so used to uh, JavaScript <laughs> okay so we come here and one thing that you're gonna notice is that basically all we did was just add the array inside of this array but wait what if I wanted to just have all of the numbers to be part of the first array not having it inside of the array meaning i wanted to have the number two as an index inside of the first array and the three and the five and the six and the seven well we can actually do this by saying extend so we could say extend numbers to the users array and as you can see instead of having a list here all we did was we took all of the items inside of the numbers um, list right and then we just put it inside of the users list okay so that's one of the ways to do this now you have other cool uh, things that you could say sort you could come here and say reverse so we're gonna do a little something we're gonna come here and we're gonna say users dot sort okay we're gonna run that and it says okay python error not supporting instances of int and strings okay so that's an error that you're gonna see you can sort numbers and strings at the same time okay so what we're going to do is instead of extending this numbers here right we're gonna take this out comment it out okay and we're just gonna keep the the names all right so for now when we come here it basically goes b c j j j m and one thing that you're gonna notice is that it's just in capitalized order right so basically we just sorted it out from a to z all right now if we wanted to reverse it we could say reverse true and as you can see it starts from z to a Okay, so it goes M, J, 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 C, B. Okay, so that's an easy way to do it. Now, let's say you wanted to just reverse it. You could literally just look at what we have here, which is just say, hey, reverse. All right, we could come here and say reverse. Okay, reverse 
no D. Sorry about that. And automatically what it did was basically it took whatever we had here as first, it brought it to the end. So it just basically reversed the whole list that we created here. Okay. So as you can see, it goes Joe, Barbara, Jacob, Cam, Miss Jones. That's how we had it here. But now it basically goes Johnny, Miss Jones, Cam, Jacob, Barbara, Joe. And Johnny is added at the end when we appended it over here. All right. So that's what's happening. Now, if you guys know about functional programming, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do here with, you know, len. So if let's say you wanted to find out how many uh, indexes are inside of this array, right? Well, this list. <laughs> I keep saying array, but you guys know what I mean, all right? <laughs> so we're going to say users dot reverse. So now we're going to come here and we're going to say, "Hey, I want to find out how many are in here." So I could either go like this, I could say len, okay? And then put users inside of it. And then automatically it returns to me six. So at first we started with one, two, three, four, five, five names. Then we added Johnny. And then as you can see, it knows that, hey, there's actually six different names inside of the users. Now, let's say we wanted to get something out of this main array. Okay. We say, hey, I want to actually remove Jacob out of this. How can I actually get him out of this user's list? Very simple. I could come here and say like this, users dot, and then I say pop, and then I put in the index of the Jacob name. Okay, so I come here and say zero, one, two. So I'm going to pop the number two index out of the. Okay, so I'm going to say users, print it, so we can actually see what's going on. And one thing that you're going to notice is like, wait, Jacob's still there. Why is Jacob still there? And you're going to realize that what happens is basically you got to look at the order of operation, how things are being run with the code. So first of all, we, we declare users here, okay? And then from there we say, okay, we have numbers, right? We didn't do anything with numbers, but here we appended Johnny. Okay. So that basically added Johnny at the end. Okay. So now there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six names in there and then we reversed it. So we had Johnny on this side. We had uh, Miss Jones on this side and then we had Cam on this side as the second index. So then when we say pop the second one, the one that got removed was actually Cam. Remember, because we reversed it. So if we want to come back, take this out, we run this, you'll see that Jacob's no longer there. Right? So if you say users pop two, so you're saying Joe, Barbara, and then Jacob was here. So that got removed. And basically, we popped Jacob out of here. Okay. So. This is like the basic stuff that you're going to be able to do with list. I would recommend definitely check out the documentation and see all the different things that you can do with a list and what are the methods that are already built in for list. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.